A few big fixes are coming to the Xbox One. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Major software updates are coming to the Xbox One over the coming weeks. With the first update arriving next week on February 11th, Microsoft promises to improve the quality of the Kinect voice commands, so the system will be more responsive and owners will be able to finally see and manage their storage space. Yeah, believe it or not, before there was no way to see how much storage was left. Microsoft is also bringing back a battery power indicator for your wireless controller, and owners will be able to connect a USB keyboard to the Xbox One. There are a few other updates arriving next week, but Microsoft is keeping them secret. The company also teased that next month it'll push out updates to support Titanfall, and that's a team-based online multiplayer game. Also in Microsoft news, the company just invested $15 million into the location check-in app Foursquare, and it agreed to a multi-year deal to license its location data. Microsoft will likely use Foursquare's massive database of locations and recommendations to improve experiences on Windows Phone and on the Bing search engine. New smartphone rumors are cropping up. There's plenty of buzz around Samsung's next Galaxy phone, the Galaxy S5, because Samsung is expected to unveil it later this month on February 24th at Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. And the latest rumor about the phone suggests that the whole phone screen will be able to read a fingerprint to unlock the phone. That's unlike the iPhone 5S, which could only read a fingerprint on the home button. And there's been a leaked image of a new HTC phone, a successor to the HTC One. This photo posted on Twitter shows what could be two camera lenses. There's what looks like a second camera at the very top of the phone. Some suggest if this is true, it could keep your photos more in focus, or you could change the point of focus after you've taken a picture. The latest report says we'll have to wait until late March for the phone to be unveiled. And did you know you can make a few bucks from putting advertisements on your smartphone? A new Android app called SlideJoy puts ads on your phone's lock screen. It could be ads for Target, Best Buy, J.Crew. It could even be tailored to your interests or your location. With a swipe, the ad is gone, and the app could pay you as much as $15 a month just for looking at the ads. The company plans to launch a version for iPhones by the end of the year. That's your tech news update, but you can get more details at CNET.com slash update, and be sure to follow along on Twitter. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.